Hey guys, welcome to TOC. This is Abhishek out here. In this lecture, we are going to demonstrate about the calloc function. The prerequisite of this lecture is some information about malloc. So please go ahead and watch uh, my malloc lecture before going through this lecture. Well, uh, the calloc function is another flavor of the dynamic memory allocator function, which uh, works a bit differently than uh, the malloc function. Okay, how is it different? Actually, uh, when we allocate some space by malloc function, I'm talking about malloc function now, malloc. When we allocate some space uh, using malloc, uh, when we allocate some space using malloc function, then uh, all the bits will contain the garbage value. That means the spaces which has been allocated by this function is not going to be touched. Okay, uh, and uh, the calloc function, if we allocate the same space with calloc function, then it will initialize all the bits by zero. So it's a kind of, uh, you know, uh, rework if we write the malloc function and the memset. The memset we can use to initialize all the bits by zero. We, we can initialize it uh, we can initialize all the bits by any uh, any value but uh, i'm talking about the calloc function and uh, finding out the relevance so uh, if we use the malloc function and memset the memset function memset which is available in uh, string dot h string dot h header file so uh, the using a memset function we can initialize all the bits by zero so uh, okay let's write some code list and uh, demonstrate so initially the list of uh, preprocessor directives this preprocessor is not any word include the header file and uh, all the allocator functions and the f the allocator function free is available in uh, studio.h so include studylib.h sorry uh, it's studylib.h and here uh, the start of main function beginning main function begins so int main this is the end of main end of main this for my convenience put care backslash and the return statement okay so as we know that uh, the malloc function allo allocates the space and returns the start address of the segment so definitely we need some uh, pointer variable i'm going to allocate this space for integral elements so we should have a, a variable which is pointer to integer pointer to integer so int asterisk a and i am initializing it uh, with null okay now we need to take in the size of the elements a number of elements not the size number of elements so that we have taken and uh, let's take in the size okay i mean some integral which is uh, going to be stored in this z variable so printf please enter this size please enter size of array and the scan up sp scan up statement mod d ampersand s set we have taken in the size now now we are all set to allocate to allocate the space using malloc initially we are working with malloc and mem set if if a equals the tab casting malloc s set into size of int 
we actually are allocating this space and validating also at the same time so if if it's null then definitely the memory allocation failure is there so let's uh, put a message through the standard error stream f printf memory allocation failure exit 1 this exit uh, status 1 for the abnormal termination for and what what actually are we doing over here no 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 we are allocating this space and validating also so allocation so it has been done and now uh, use the memset function okay let's see the man 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 memset so this is the uh, this is the signature of the memset function it accepts the pointer which is a over here and uh, it takes in the value which is to be set in the bits so we have to we have to set all the bits all these bits by zero all right and then the number of bits to be set so we are going to set uh, the to all the bits of uh, the allocated space all the individual bits of uh, this uh, block hmm? so uh, let's write it this uh, mem set the pointer a and then the value 0 which is to be set and then size of int and now if we check okay let's take one iterating variable and now if we check then uh, i equals 0 while while this is the end of while i smaller than a set print of mod d uh, a of i plus plus Hmm. Okay. So and this to reset to set the bit. This uh, we have set the bit, and then okay, it's done. I think let's uh, execute the code. G plus plus minus so A B calloc demo dot C memset was not declared in the scope. Why? Because memset is available in string dot h. So we need to add up the string dot h into the list. It's done. it is 4 it has been set the same task we can we can uh, uh, the same task uh, can be accomplished uh, by the calloc function and no need to write all these uh, statements hmm? so uh, I'm going to comment out this code mm, right from here and then this it has been commented we have uh, this is our pointer variable which will uh, which we are going to use with uh, the calloc function 
and this uh, it will com come on the bottom while checking the content okay so the calloc function it accepts uh, two bit uh, two variable two arguments okay so the calloc function what does it accept actually the calloc function calloc it accepts two different arguments first is the number of elements which is uh, size and score t size 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 and score t uh, element and this is the um, size of each element so if we are allocating the space for some integral value then we should put it put it here for or uh, depending upon the compiler i'm using uh, gcc with uh, linux so it should be 4 but it's always a good practice to to use a size size of operator and if we check the man page man malloc see here uh, the calloc function it accepts two different arguments and first one is the number of elements and another is the size of uh, each element it also returns the void asterisk that means the calloc, calloc function also works generically so definitely we need to typecast so again we are doing the same thing we are we will allocate and validate hmm? allocation and validation as well so if this is the end of if if a equals uh, interest risk interest risk Hello. in here sz and size of int if it is uh, if it is null then the memory location failure and then the exit function okay and again if we check then then uh, all the all the locations should be holding some value zero because uh, the same task is performed by the calloc function so let's check but uh, we have allocated al allocated this space but didn't uh, didn't free it so uh, use the free function to deallocate this space and uh, as we know that free does not uh, remove the space which is or remove the handle which is uninitialized so always check a not equals null uh, null only then come inside and free and for for safety purpose initialize that uh, location by null hmm? okay four it's done so this is how the calloc function works and further we can uh, store our own elements in the in the location which uh, the calloc, calloc function allocates uh, i have uh, just uh, demonstrated the basic part so thanks very much uh, gentlemen god bless